discrete versus continuous. Somebody give me a definition of discrete. Now this is when we're actually getting into, there's quantitative and qualitative data, okay? There's discrete data and continuous data. Can you, from your readings, can you give me an example of discrete data? If I counted the number of people in this room, is this discrete or continuous data? Okay. Somebody say discrete. Somebody said continuous. It would be discrete data. Now, if I could divide you up into portions, like I, I would, you know, if, if there's cars in the parking lot, this is less gross. <laughs> if there's cars in the parking lot, how many cars? You count single cars, right? Let's say if, 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 you, if, if something happened to a car and it blew up, you'd found, you, you could say a percentage of a car <laughs> is found. 10% you know, of the car was found. Now, that would be continuous, right? So discrete is something you can count. There's one, two, three, four. Uh, one and a half doesn't make sense. There's not one and a half cars out there. Although some people may feel like they're driving half a car, <laughs> it's still a full car, right? So discrete, it would be something you can count, whereas continuous would be something you can count, but there's infinite possibilities, okay? So here it says, discrete can only assume certain values, and there are usually gaps between the values. Like you may have 10, you may have 5, but there's not uh, 5.3333. Okay, continuous is the exact opposite. Here it gives number of bedrooms in a house, number of hammers. Uh, continuous variable can assume any value within a specific range. Okay, so if we if we if we're thinking about continuous data, we could say between one and and six, but that could be one point three 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 three. This it's infinite possibilities, right? And so if we were going to draw a picture of this, we could draw a picture of continuous and discrete. Okay, the continuous would look something like this. Would be, there's these, each one of these square, you know, this bar chart has, there's 10, that's 15, that's 20, but there's no numbers between full numbers. You know, there's, there's just full numbers. It's got to be a 1, got to be a 2, got to be a 3. And so we can count them up and we can draw a picture it looks like that, right? Whereas with continuous data, we can't draw that picture. If, if you knew that there are 20 items here and you know there are 100 items overall, the probability that we would find one of these items, if this was the color of red cars in the parking lot, would be 20 divided by 100, right? So what would that be? 20%. Okay? Does that make sense? So we could say, what's the probability of me with, with, a, with a blind crane going down like, a, like a, one of these little machines that you pick up teddy bears with and just pick up a red car out of the parking lot? And if there's 20 out of 100 red, and I'm going to pick up a car each time I drop this crane, then it's 20% of the time I'm going to pick up a red car. Does that make sense? Where you can't do that with a continuous, let's, because continuous data says something like this. There's a curve. This is the average. And let's pretend like this is 100, and this is 0. So this could be an inf infinite number of possibilities because it could be 1 or it could be 1.1 or it could be 1.1 or 1.11 or 1.11111. There's infinite. You know, you can go on forever. So if I was going to say what's the probability of me picking, let's go back here, me picking 20. Is that 20%? Remember, 120, if it was discrete, it would be 20%, right? So what's the probability of me picking the number 20 out of infinity? infinity? What's that problem? Is it 20%? If it was discrete, it would be. But it's not here because it's 20 divided by infinity. And so what is that? what's the probability of me picking that number? It's zero. 
So you can't use the same statistics when you're talking about discrete numbers and continuous numbers. Okay? So can you see that? Because remember, there's infinite number of possibilities. If we're looking at probabilities there, it'd be over infinity. So how are we going to find out what's the probability of finding 20? The only way we can do it is to say it's got to be between some number and some other number. And we can figure that out, say, between uh, 15 and 25. Okay? So now we're looking for 20. But we can't figure that out. It's impossible. But what we can do is we can figure out that little section. Okay? And so when we look at statistics and we're talking about an infinite number of possibilities, what we're really talking about is how can we find the, interv the interval, the interval, um, the, the point between two numbers. And so we're really looking at the area here, statistically. And so we can figure that out. Okay? Now, giving a really easy example, if this was an average, and we're trying to figure out this area here, what would that percent be? 50. Right? Because half of it's that side and half of it's this side. So we know that's 50%. So what's this average? Less than 50. Okay? And so we can keep narrowing it down. We say we can have less than 50% of a chance of getting the right answer. Okay? And if we could figure out by using our tools what this is and what this is, then we could take that plus that minus 50 and we can find that. You see? And that's how you have to do it. That's what your, that's what your formulas are going to tell you. Okay? Now, this is a complicated concept compared to discrete, because discrete we can count. And see, there's examples. A pressure in a tire. Uh, weight of pork chops. <laughs> the height of students in the class. Because we can have somebody five foot and somebody seven foot. Well, there's infinite possibilities if you if you go down to the smallest smallest number. There's infinite numbers between five feet and seven feet. Does that make sense? Okay. So data, qualitative data. Um, okay. So qualitative data would be the type of car. Quantitative data would be a number. Discrete would be like a number you can count. Continuous would be like a number that you can't count. I mean, it's, it's infinite possibilities. You know, your height, you may be able to count it to a certain amount, but you could probably get a decimal place that goes out 100 numbers if you wanted to. And, and let's say with your clinical trials of, of, um, of some kind of medicine, you, that's very continuous, right? Because you could find how it, how it affects the body in an infinite number of ways, or infinite number of measures. Okay? 